Monday on Home and Family, Hallmark star Candace Cameron Bure is joining us. And Chef Ann Burrell is making calamari noodles with fingerling potatoes. This week we are celebrating National Animal Disaster Preparedness and here to show us what we need to keep our pets safe is our pet rescue expert, Larissa. Hi, oh, Larissa. And, and Muppet. Oh, we should excuse say Muppet. me. Oh, I forgot to add that. But and yes, Muppet. beautiful well, Muppet who's doing very well after some teeth extraction. Yeah, oh, yes, doing so much better. Thank Look you. Amazing. So, you know, there are emergencies and disasters across the country no matter where you live. I mean, case in point right now, you've got the Hawaii issue going on. No, the volcano. No, no, no. I mean, we've had so many many floods. Look at that picture. I mean, that's just one picture. Oh you had Hurricane Irma. You had Hurricane Harvey. There was so much going on this year. The good news is that unlike years past, so much uh, effort was put into helping save the animals. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, a lot of people didn't think so much about that. Yeah. So that's the good news. However, you really want to be prepared because, let me put it this way, the time to prepare isn't when the water is coming in. <laughs> you true. want to prepare yeah. before disaster strikes in case you ever need anything. And we were talking earlier in the yeah. makeup room, you know, as humans, a lot of us have bags in the back of our car yeah. if we need to, you know, an emergency, emergency kits, yep. something. And I know that you have one for yes. your humans and for your dogs but because the, now yes. that's important too. The yeah. human one isn't so up to date, but the, the pets, so we've got three cats, <laughs> two dogs, their bags are ready to go. Right. If anything should happen and harnesses for the dog, it's different because it's, you don't need just a collar. Right. Like right. When, when you're dealing with disaster, for us, it's fires out here. Right. Or fires earthquake. or earthquakes. And yes. I have, I have the earthquake quick no disaster earthquake. kit in the back of my car, but it's true, if you have an animal, you need something for the animal. Too. Absolutely, yes. it is yeah. so important. A lot of people kind of forget about that. So you have brought us an amazing yes. animal disaster relief <laughs> kit. What is in this kit? This is like a, this isn't disaster relief. This is animal fun. Right yes, here. I feel very <laughs> Vanna White yeah. right now. So yes, you know, look, we purchased most of this. It came all in a kit. Mm -hmm. However, you can put one together yourself, depending on your animal's needs and if you have a cat or a dog. So some of the basics that you want. You want to have leashes, obviously, and collars. Leashes, this one lights up. I like something reflective. That way, when it's dark out, you can be seen easily. Water, you want food and water for about seven to 10 days at least. Mm -hmm. That's very, very important. And then we've got, you know, some toys, some cleany wipes, some, uh, you know, a dog leash to tie them down if mm -hmm. you need to, and all the other important information. Now, the other thing I want to mention about the medication, very, very important. Mm -hmm. If your animal takes medication, make sure that when you get a refill, you swap that out with the one she's that's looking at in herself on TV. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks she's barking at another dog. <laughs> that's you. That's you, Muppet. A lot of people forget that they have a spare, just like a spare tire, you, and, and you finally need it and it's flat. Make sure your medication stays up to date. So when the time comes, and hopefully you never need it, but if you do, it hasn't expired. So I feel swap safe that right now. out. Yeah. I feel so safe, Muppet. You know, Thank yeah, you, Muppet. We've got big Thank Muppet. Muppet. Thank you, Muppet. Our yeah. dog. The <laughs> other thing I want to mention about the kit itself, and we've talked talked about this a couple times before is get your animal used to the crate whether it's a cat or dog yeah because right. the time to try that isn't when you're running out the door so we did this with Muppet earlier you know I always recommend starting and doing it in steps first of all you just put the um, the crate down next to you I like the cloth crate because they're a little bit more bendable than the big mm -hmm. hard ones right. so you put it down next to you you're gonna just let the dog or cat kind of sniff around feel that it's okay I put some treats inside so we've got a little bit of cheese. I then lifted her in, put her in. She ate the treats, but I did not close the top. I let her just kind of jump out. Then I did it again where I put the treats inside and I did zip. Once she got in there, <laughs> I zipped her in, but I didn't do anything else. Did that, let her back out. Then the last time around, I put her back in with the treats and then closed it up and went for a little stroll. And again, this isn't a one-time process. This is something you can do once every couple months, once your dog gets used to it, but just to keep reminding sure. them what it's about. Sure. And cats too, if you if you know, if you've ever tried to put a cat in a bag, oh, uh, boy. all four oh, paws go yeah. out. They hate so, it. But now, mine are so trained that they'll actually go in when I'm not around. Because oh. we leave them open and we leave the little treats oh. in there. Absolutely, and it takes consistency. Yes, mm -hmm. they're exactly, cute. anything. Um, the tags, they're cute, but are, there's a purpose for those? Yes, so, get this. This. Anybody who has an animal knows yeah. that it's very important. You get, you know, microchip, collar, leash, all that. Yeah. These are all essentials, including a dog tag. Here's a tip. 
you can put on your tag, you get a double-sided one, I've written microchipped and need medication. Oh, that's great. That alerts somebody out there that if, God forbid, they find your dog, that that dog needs extra help and that will hopefully spur or, you know, make that person sure. go the extra mile. Right. So, hey, I'm microchipped, take me to a vet, get that scanned. Sure. And I need medication, it's important, And on the other side is your phone number. And other side make sure has, that's up to date as well. Absolutely, name, it phone is, number. It is 818. <laughs> oh, 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 but yes, boy. that's a very important thing. You can buy them online with the uh, uh, medical alert mm -hmm. symbol. Yep. That I did at Petco for $8. Petco, okay. PetSmart, any of them yep. that yep. are near you. And I noticed there are some documents there and photos of you and Muppets. Yes, right? last, yes, yeah, yes, just because she's so cute. <laughs> oh, so basically, let me put this around here. So uh, in this paperwork is everything anybody needs to know should they find my little baby. So it's got my information, my vet's information, emergency contacts, medication, food instructions, and pictures, because if you get separated from your animal, mm -hmm. which oftentimes happens in a large scale tragedy, just like with the hurricanes, oh my goodness. Yeah. You, you, you're gonna want proof that that is your pet. It's gonna help that you know reunion happen faster it's obviously great also to have some vet records microchip numbers all of that stuff on that paperwork what yeah, happens if you sure. you're not separated from your pet but you and your pet are separated from all your stuff yeah and you can't get back to your house Aww. and now you're in search of. Yeah, that's very difficult. And again, have a plan before yeah. it happens. So there are some great websites out there that really help you when it comes to where should we go? Should we have to leave right. our house? So we used one earlier that we took a little video of. This is petfriendlyhotels.net. Super easy. Click on your state. Click on your city. I mean, it, it, it honestly can't be easier. They've got tons of cities across every state. So we picked Burbank, why not? And it actually lists out all the different locations that you can go for shelter, you know, oh, hotel-wise, motel-wise, that allow animals in their location. So it's all there for you. Awesome. Make it a family thing. Have fun with it. Put your kit together and just, you know, and I would be ready to at, call yeah. the hotel and ask how many pets they take. Good, well, good idea. That was a little issue with me <laughs> last time. <laughs> well, when you're like us and you have 12, it's right. a little harder. If you're Paige and Larissa and you're actually running a kennel, yes. it's kind of harder it's to a find hotel. accommodations. It's a hotel, not an ark, okay? <laughs> but you know, there are pet hotels, so maybe the pet hotels will let the parents, parents sleep yeah. there. Maybe. Maybe that's a better idea. There wow. you go, ladies. Thank, thank you so you. much, Great information. Both of you. Really good information. And thank Hopefully you, Muppet. you never need it. And Muppet, yes. Yeah. You did a great job. You did a great job protecting us. Stick around, actress Monica Potter is here and she is sharing her favorite Mother's Day gifting essentials. But up next, it's Ken. I have a really cute way to display those extra special ornaments that you don't want to get lost on your big tree, little mini trees. Come and join me in Christmas Corner. <laughs>